Today's video is a super quick one, but it's an equally quick install. We're throwing the larger OEM throttle body into Brian's focus, specifically the 2.3 liter throttle body. This is becoming a more common swap in the ST world and a few NA owners have done it as well. So I recently installed one on my car on the ST4 and now Brian's titanium is getting one too. So this is the original throttle body about to be undone to be swapped over to the larger throttle body from the 2.3 liter. So all the NA owners have it much easier as the throttle body is right up top here. In the STs it's hidden on the bottom of the intake manifold so you have to pull the entire thing out greatly adding to the install time. This is probably a 10 minute install if you hurry. Pull the air box if you wish, pull the intake arm and then the throttle body's right there. Four bolts, one wire loom and out it comes. As you'll see in a minute as part of the swap you need slightly longer bolts. Those are the originals M6x40s. The new OEM bolts are M6x54. Although Hours not come in in time, so we just had to run to the local Home Depot and pick some up instead. Only because they got delayed for some reason. We'll ignore the glaring continuity error of a glove suddenly appearing in this clip. But there is the original throttle body. Just about out. And there is the new one from the 2.3 liter. And you can see, for those who are wondering, yeah, there's the. There's the size difference. Substantial size yeah. difference. And every little bit helps, so. Oh, yeah. It's inexpensive, it's really easy to do, especially on NAs. And you know, it's just one it's more way to improve massive. your car. Yeah, it is actually for a fair bit bigger. Yeah. All right, there's the old gasket out. We have a new one to go in, just because why not? It's something like a dollar, so why not replace it? So that's the new one just slots in the little recess in the intake manifold. Can't tell on the camera screen just how well it shows up, but it'll be obvious once you have this part, there's a little groove that it just slots into. Yeah, it's a little difficult to see, but there is a groove yeah, and see. you can feel it. Yeah, as you can see the groove now, it just fits right in there. All right, so new throttle body's going in. It has to be flipped 180 degrees compared to the OEM unit because that's the only way it physically fits in the space. Yep, and then the harness. The harness gets rerouted to the new location for the connector. We're just gonna tuck that down and out of the way before we yep. bolt everything in. Now these yes, are again. the new bolts. Yeah, so just a note again, these are stand-ins because the OEM bolts did not arrive in time. But as you can see, compared to, they are actually longer and they're both out of focus. <laughs> okay, now it's in focus. Okay, so yeah. And these ones are still about four millimeters too short, but they should be long enough until the new bolts come in. Yeah, so they should be, that's the original M6 by 40. Yep. The new ones, OEM ones are M6 by 54, yep. but Home Depot only went up to M6 by 50. So those are four mil too short, but they will hold it still. In any yep. case, it just has to hold for a couple of days until the actual Proper bolts come in, in and then we can quickly switch them out. Yep. But we only had time to shoot this video today, so we're making do with what we have. This has been like the most painless install we've ever done. You don't want to think it was easier than doing shifter bushings. <laughs> we wouldn't have the console apart by now if we were doing shifter bushings. No. Ugh. All right. All right, new now. throttle body's in. Yeah. Kind of an awkward angle for filming, but then the new connector, or the original connector, clips onto the new throttle body underneath. Yes, you would have seen the original throttle body connected there, but yeah, on the new this, one, this unit connects over there instead. And so STs, you have to run either a extension for your harness or be very careful with how you reroute it. NAs, you just simply move the harness over and it all still works fine. Exactly. It's so much easier on these. <laughs> because it can be a tight fit, a little bit of Vaseline will go a long way. Oh yeah. Help it slide on a bit easier. There we go. All right, that's on. Then. Clamp goes back around. All right. Stock arm back on. Now the clamp's just being done up. So air box is in next. And then its clamp is done up, of course. Make sure your harness is out of the way. 
And it popped back down into place. Push back in. Back in. And then this is where, if you had them, you'd throw back on the airbox lid and snorkel and everything else, but... Because, you know, cheap mod. <laughs> but we don't have to worry about that. Exactly. But anyway, there is the throttle body in place. Everything is reconnected. Plugged back in, that should be plugged back in, etc. Yep. Nothing is ready to start. Exactly. Cool. Throttle body install is complete. Thank <laughs> you.